morning. It's Tuesday morning, April the 20th, 2021. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. I'm going to be reading again from Proverbs chapter 6, and particularly verses 9 through 11, which say, How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou rise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. And of course, this is on the principle of slovenliness, laziness versus diligence and industriousness. And the Bible says quite a bit about this, actually. And it's a, it's a blight on a person's character for them to be a lazy person. And we all have the tendency to want to enjoy our leisure and to want to enjoy easy times. But may we never uh, engage or indulge ourselves in slovenliness, laziness. Let me read a couple other verses from Proverbs for you on this subject. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 4 says, The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold, and therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. There's always a good reason, it seems, for a person to be lazy or slovenly. And, and this person, the Bible says, will not get out and work because, oh, it's just too cold. It's too cold. There's always a reason why I can't be busy. In some cases, people come up with good reasons, what they consider good reasons, why they can't be busy for the Lord. But there's no good excuse for laziness, especially in spiritual matters. N notice chapter 13 of Proverbs, verse 4. Proverbs 13, 4 says, The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing but the soul of the diligent soul, or the diligent shall be made fat. There's a blessing and there is there is a reward for the person who's a hard worker, who's willing to set and put himself out there and, and put something at risk and invest himself in hard work and in labor, and there will be a blessing because of it. Parents should just be very, very diligent about not allowing laziness to develop in the hearts of their children. You know, it's probably everybody's tendency to want to choose the easy way. There aren't too many people who are just strongly motivated from within. They have to be motivated from without. And there may be a few people like that who just want a challenge, who really like a challenge, who like to be pushed to their limits. But for the most part, this is a learned response. And it's a great thing to instill in children, in young people, to instill in ourselves a desire, a motivation, just to get out there and just to accomplish something and to be busy doing what we ought to be doing Laziness, on the other hand, is a blight on a person's character. And the person who is lazy, who allows himself to engage in laziness, may never ever reach his or her full potential and the purpose for which God allowed them to live in the first place. What a great thing for us to have as our goal, that we would be hard workers, that we would be diligent, and we would train those and encourage those around us likewise to be hard workers and to be productive in the work that we have to do. The Bible says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Do it heartily with thy might. And in another place, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. In other words, invest yourself, work hard, and be a productive and diligent individual. And God can be glorified in your life. May that be your desire. May that be your goal. Just be motivated. Just get busy. It's far better to be tired and weary at the end of a day than to feel like you've accomplished nothing. Don't give up. Be a hard worker. Don't be lazy. Be diligent and be productive. God bless you today.